Hey Tube. Got another customer here. Thought I'd video this one. Um, it's got it's a Briggs and Stratton OHV, five horsepower, chain drive. As you can see, it says right there, chain drive, which is actually kind of unusual. In chain drive. That means the belt right here is a chain. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's probably the gearbox inside here. But I'll show you what's wrong with it here. Turn the choke on. The gas doesn't smell the greatest either, so I'll probably change that out. Uh, put this up on. Grab it. Yeah, it does have a leak too. Oh well. When you pull it, all it does is pops, backfires out of the tailpipe, and it has no compression. Let's see if you can hear it. It's popping. Sounds like it's trying to fire off. You can smell it burning the fuel, but it won't fire. My first hunch is the valves. Probably somebody's trying to set them or something and they set them right or just felt like tightening them up. So I'm going to pull that cover off and check the space in between the valves to see if that's set right. And I pulled this off. I had a shroud on it already. Pulled this off. So okay, I'm gonna pull that shroud up this cover off. Okay I got that off now. And I've been looking at it and it is too tight. So looks like I'm right. See how tight that is? Look, there's no there's no play in it. There's supposed to be a little bit of play, and that's it never lets go of the valves. And you slide it through, and then you get this one down all the way. Let's check the other one. That's too tight. So let me loosen that up real quick. See if I can pop the socket off here. Oh, there we go. And let's see. I'm gonna guess a 15. Oh, even bigger. Go 16. Cheeseburger. Oh. The bird, there's birds around here. They go And I call them cheeseburger birds because it sounds like they're saying cheeseburger. Hey, there's Dixie again. Hey, Dixie. Anyways. So that one's got a little bit of play, like they're supposed to. Cycle that. Cycle this all the way down on the other end. Loosen this one up just a smidge. Just like that. Nope, not enough. Almost. Stay here. Oh, it's got compression. Let me figure that one out. Got no muffler on it right now, so I'm just gonna see if it'll fire off and start. There we go, she's fixed. That's all the problem it was. The valves, they were too dang tight. This can even go a little bit more. Sweet, so let's reassemble her and start her up. Hey YouTube, she's all back together now. I ran her through a stress test, make sure she was running right. She does, she runs beautifully now. I'm trying to find the code on it here. I want to see what year this engine is. Um, there it is. It's got to be in the code right here. No, it's not the code. Huh. I'll figure the, the year out on it and post it. A little thing around here somewhere, you know, on the screen. But it's all back together now. Um, he, he'll, he's coming right now to come and pick it up. I'll start her up for you here. 
turn the fuel on, this on high. Pop, pop, pop. running great. Everything works on her. Everything's clean. I put a little bit of marvel in the gas and a little marvel in the oil and she's ready to go. I always do that on any equipment I work on. I always put marvel in the gas and marvel in the oil. Alrighty, so he's gonna come pick, pick it up and he's gonna pay me for the repairs and he's a happy customer. He sounds like a, a recurring customer. So he's probably gonna keep coming back to me. Um, plus I had this one done quickly, so she's going to be happy. So, awesome. See you later, YouTube.